Hi, I'm Dr. Monica Wanacott. I'm a pediatrician, mom, and creator of PediatricAnswers.com. Today we're going to discuss how to properly secure an infant into an infant car seat. Let's take a look first at the seat. An infant car seat has two distinct portions. The base, which securely fits into the car through the latch system. If you have questions on how to secure the seat, the seat base, there is a separate clip on how to do so. The second portion of the seat is the infant carrier portion. It connects to the base like this. It can be easily removed and taken off as well. Every seat is a little bit different, so it's important that you become familiar with your own seat. When we're talking about putting an infant in a car seat, um, they're usually going to be on the lowest holes or straps here. As your infant grows, there are spots for them to, gr to grow with it. The seat also often has um, a portion of it that helps secure their head. This is part of the seat as well. So, the first step is clearly to put your infant in the seat making sure the straps are on the right spot. Then you're going to take your infant's arms and thread them through the hole. You may have to adjust and make them longer so they'll easily fit through. You're going to do that on both sides. You're going to secure it here in the front. You should look for, when you're looking for an infant car seat, you should look for a five-point harness style. This means that the seat connects in five points to the seat, or the straps connect. One, two, three, four, and five. The next step in securing your infant is to connect the middle portion, which comes up through the legs, to the buckle. Then, it is important that the, this part comes up on your infant's chest and is stopped by the breastbone as opposed to their belly. Additionally, you're going to want to tighten it up. This is far too loose. There is a, in this particular seat, you can pull the strap here and loosen it. Some of them you have to do from behind. If you live in a cold weather place where you're going to be having times where your infant is wearing a coat or a bunting, it's particularly nice to have ones that adjust in the front. So tighten it up to the point where you can only comfort, where you can get one finger in there. And now your infant is secure. I'm Dr. Monica Wanacott, and that's how it's done.